just a fun hypothetical. Now, I have said on this show for years now, I thought it might be smarter for all of these G5 conferences. You mentioned the Mountain West there, uh, but the AAC, the Sun Belt, CUSA, MAC, maybe some of these independent teams, for them to all try and bundle their rights together, right? Which would effectively get rid of conferences, I suppose. But I, I thought it could make them uh, make those contracts maybe incentive laden, sell the rights on shorter contracts to multiple media networks, whoever that may be. I just feel like for the the smaller teams, because it does feel like we have basically two divisions inside of the FBS, I thought it would make more money for the smaller schools because you can get better non-conference matchups, better time slots, uh, prime conference matchups, whatever. It, I would imagine those would be worth more money. How realistic could something like that be? Now, it, every obviously, everybody or every conference, once they're on deal, they, they yeah. want the ability to add their own value, but... To those schools, how much sense would it make, and is it even possible to do that? It, it's kind of like herding cats, I think. Um, <laughs> we, we, we made uh, a couple of veiled efforts at trying to create something for the schools below the Power Five. Two things. Number one, creating a kind of a super conference uh, that, you know, some guys have been on the outside looking in, but sort of kind of the best of the rest is how, how we termed it. And it, you know, it just, it didn't work out. There was geography problems. There was, you know, people were, were tied to the conferences and the history. And so we just said, okay, fine. But what you, what you put forth is, is something that if I'm, if I'm Amazon prime, if I'm, Apple TV plus that's something that, you know, would be a get for them. You know, I think they could do that and it, you know, take a ton of work and a ton of money. But if you start waving enough money in front of these conferences, you know, they're the type they're going to, okay, well, we're not getting that much distribution of our games already. So who cares if we're not getting distribution on Amazon prime or Apple TV plus, at least we got a lot of money. Yeah. And it's 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 what it's the MLS situation. What MLS did with Apple TV, and they took all these games that were on RSNs, games that were on their MSL, whatever their packages like Sunday Ticket, yep. um, and you know even the rights to the games that were on Fox and ESPN. Although I expect at some point there will be a game of the week type thing on Fox and ESPN, and they took all that over and put it on on Apple TV, and. You know, I don't know how many homes Apple TV has, but it's a heck of a lot less than than what ESPN and, and Fox were distributing those games to. But they got a big check, and at this point for them, the money is worth more than the exposure. And at some point, it could be that way for the G five schools, especially since they're not getting that much exposure anyway. Well, um, a lot of them are being relegated to ESPN Plus, et cetera, exactly, or, or these other channels. I, I brought this up because I. I looked back at that BYU and Coastal Carolina game back in 2020 that was kind of put together the week of, and it drew over a million viewers on ESPNU, which is not a prime network. Exactly. So something along those lines where those non-conference matchups is that now BYU obviously would be uh, one of the halves at this point, but those fun matchups where teams come up out of nowhere and you've got casual fans that really want to watch, but also the fans of these schools. Uh, fans of the schools absolutely yeah. i i think you know you, someone like amazon prime or apple tv plus could, could cobble that type of thing together with all the conferences and you know there's always issues with existing deals when they run out and you know yada 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 but i think at you know every once in a while you're going to catch lightning in a bottle and yep. it's going to make a, a big difference you know I, I i'll never forget the you know the very first game we had on the big 10 network was you know Appalachian State. State kicking a field goal <laughs> at the end of the end of the day, end of the game to win? That was the very first game we had. I was like, going, oh, "Thank you, Lord." Oh, it was perfect because, because all the cable providers started getting blown up. Hey, where oh, is yeah. it? Because I remember following the game and I could not find it anywhere down in Memphis. Right. So, right. and of course, we ended up getting uh, the Big Ten Network right. maybe a couple of weeks after. So. It'd be the same way for for Amazon Prime or, or Apple TV if they picked up, you know, were able to cobble that thing, that type of a situation together. Um, you're gonna, like I say, catch lightning in a bottle. But also for for those services, those streaming services, they gotta walk before they can run. You know, they're not, you know, Amazon. Yeah, they've got a Thursday night game. They're gonna they're with the NFL, and I know a bunch of the people who are over there working on it, and they're gonna do a very good job with it. And but I think 
at this point, they have frustration because they're trying to bid on everything and they're not getting anything. You know, they've got some overseas soccer and some things, you know, for outside the U.S. where they distribute. But here they've got the the NFL game and I think they want more than that. And I, But I'm not sure that other leagues and conferences and sports are quite ready to step up to that level. Um, but the G5s should and would want to. And oh, I yeah. think that's, a, that's something they could actually get uh, as opposed to, you know, swinging and missing. Well, it is, if you think about it, the business of colleges really is to get their name out. That's They call football for universities the front porch of the university. If you're not on a linear network, it, it's kind of tough to get in front of a bunch of eyeballs. So it's it's a back and forth of, yeah, the money's really important, but we need to be in front of as many people as humanly possible to advertise our university. So, you know, going with the streaming route, I think the way that things have changed as far as sports media rights go, uh, I think it, it makes sense maybe uh, to, to go streaming now because you have to be able to keep up in some form or fashion. Uh, right. Otherwise, uh, I mean, I, I told somebody the other day, I think it is almost as likely that Stanford and Cal over in the Pac-12 cease to play football as opposed to join the Big Ten. Like I just, that's there's, yeah, that's very possible because I think you know it's sooner or later, you know, if your football your football program funds the bulk of your other programs, um, you know, Stanford, not to so much Cal, but Stanford, you know, they can afford to do whatever they want. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's the only <laughs> building you go to; it doesn't have a single ad in it, <laughs> any type. But they they could, you know, with their endowment, they can do whatever they want. But I think you're right. I I don't think you know if the Pac-12 implodes, I don't think you find a big. Yeah, you know, I don't think you find Stanford or Cal at, in the Mountain West. I think they just shut it down. Oh yeah, they shut football down. And, I agree. Yeah. So you you know, I, but with the the G5s, I think it's that's a. You know, it's kind of a super league makes a lot of sense. And, you know, hopefully someone over at Amazon Prime is going to watch this and, and says, gee, we got to take a look at that. And I wish them the best of luck because I didn't have any at it. <laughs> <laughs> we will uh, we will tag them in the comments for sure and see if, uh, see if something can get done. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.